Let's read 2 Kings chapter 6 verse verse 1. I mean from verse 8 because of time. The Bible says, And now the king of Syria was making war against Israel. And he consulted with his servant saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God, verse 9, if that's your Bible, underline the word, the man of God. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down there. Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him, and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Assyria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants says, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. So he said, go and see where he is, that I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, surely he is in Dothan. Let's stop there for a while. Hallelujah. I, I want us to understand beginning from where we left in the morning, that as believers, there is something special about you that if you utilize it well, the devil will not touch you. Uh, give me an amen. Hallelujah. There is something about you as a born again. There is something about you as a believer. When it is well understood, and it is well utilized. The devil cannot reach near your tent. The devil cannot move near where you are. The Bible is talking about a man of God called Elijah. Ah, hallelujah. Elijah was not just a prophet. Elijah was not just a preacher. Elijah was not just a born again. Elijah was not just an Israelite. But the Bible calls him a man of God. There is a difference, my brother and my sister, between a prophet, between a born again believer, between a Christian, a preacher, and a man of God. There is something about this thing that I'm calling a man of God. A man of God has the ear and the mouth of God. I pray that you get the ear and the mouth of God. That you will hear where others cannot hear. That you will speak what others cannot speak. May you become that in the name of Jesus. People may despise you. People may look down upon you. People may want to know which papers you have. People may be concentrating on your second name. But there is another degree of life. Of becoming a man or a woman of God. That you have an ear of God that you have a mouth of God that nothing can be hidden from you. I pray that in the name of Jesus, you are not just sitting on the fence that things are happening and you don't know where they come from. That things are taking place and they are getting you by surprise. Oh, not me. I'm going to another level where before something happens I have gotten wind of it. I have seen whatever they are planning. I have have heard whatever they are saying. There is another level, my brother. You don't need to depend on rumors. You don't need to be a victim of circumstances that I don't know how it happened. It just happened. It just caught me. I'm saying not me. Before it happens, I will get to hear it. Before it happens, I will get to see it. Before it takes place, I will know about it. I pray that you are getting to that level in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Elisha, the Bible says the king of Assyria wanted to attack Israel and they will plan they will come up with a plan in their nation and say we will lay our camp in such and such a place. But Elijah would hear it. 
Listen to me. There is an ear beyond what you have now. Hallelujah. There is an ear beyond the, you know, the, the physical. Now, let me take you cl closer. The Bible talks of Elijah. He announced and declared the drought. And the drought was really burning. After killing the Baal prophet, he went up and began to pray. And as he was praying, he sent his servant to go and check if something is happening. The Bible says seven times the servant would come and say, we don't see anything. But finally he said that I can see a cloud the size of a hand of man. And Elijah began to say that I can hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Yatabashindalaba. May your ears open now in the mighty name of Jesus. They may your ear open right now. Listen to me. You are a product of what you hear. What you hear is what has brought you where you are. What you are hearing is what has hindered you from becoming who you ought to be. What you are hearing is what has stopped you from becoming what you ought to become. I choose what to hear. I will not hear the noise of the devil. I will not hear the curses of my generation. I will not hear the pain of my life. I will not listen to the hassles of this life. But I choose to listen to my faith. What does my faith tell me? Oh, shut up, brother God. That I am blessed when I go out. I am blessed when I come in. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the rural. That is the voice that I want to hear. I pray your ears are opening. Hallelujah. Many of us, we live wrong because we hear wrong. Hallelujah. We cannot make it because we hear wrong. We cannot move far because the noises that are around us, the things that we listen to every day.